side here because uh, nerves will get the better of the players until they settle down. There's Thompson getting a magnificent knockout. And Bucket comes here to Colling as we see the ball finally driven up by Wayne Richardson. One falls a bit short. Bucket goes to Rene Kink. Good play by Sutton as he plays it on. The ball comes back now. Wayne Richardson gets a short kick across there. Much coordination at all. Oh, there's Baker getting up high, but the umpire didn't pay for it. As the ball was kicked back by Wayne Richardson, back to front. Second grab, can't quite collect it. Taken by Wayne Richardson, handball goat, cross with his brother Max. Max in turn towards the half-forward line with Max by his side. Ball coming out in front. He's in cross Melbourne lead by eight points. Back towards the centre, Keenan stalked the mark. Taken by Stephen Nick. can't break clear, might be penalised. He will be, that's a very good decision on Curry and Robinson. Made no attempt to get rid of the ball. And the former Magpie skipper, Wayne Richardson, to boot them back into attack. The Magpie's looking a lot better in the second. Wayne Richardson, 31 years of age, ex-Collingwood captain, and uh, possibly playing his last game of league football as he goes now for the long kick to get that ball up there into the full forward zone. Came out quickly to play. And, well, what, what, what on earth happened there? Well, what happened there? A cross will knock uh, Twiggy Dunn out. And the free kick has been played down the field. I thought it'd be played. Well, you can't penalise the side. There's the kick now by Collingwood. Driven back towards the full forwards. Up back there towards Rene Kink. Sutton couldn't hold it. Wayne Richardson's clear. Back it goes up towards Moore and Gumbledon. Can the big fella get it? Frank Gumbledon. Oh, Harry Dolls. Three off. It's dangerous. Goes to make Wayne Richardson. About 60 metres out in towards full forward. Rene Kink's in front. Half forward line. It eludes uh, about five players that have also beat Sutton as the ball is picked up by Wayne Richardson. Gets it up to Schimmelbush. And North Melbourne looking good now as Schimmelbush goes for a pass. But it's oh. a bad one over towards Thompson. He's got the mark. Looking for Arnold Brightus that time. 15 metre penalty against Brightus. Gabe Thompson won right behind the ear that time as he took the mark. 28 minutes gone and Collingwood are trading by eight points. A short pass over to Wayne Richardson. Driving the ball up there towards that half four. There's Moore coming out. He's got the mark. Moore, down he goes, but he's got the mark. By God, this fella could be a dangerous player for North Melbourne before the day's over. You can see him looming up like a neon sign. Here he is, Peter Moore. Already kicked one goal. Six foot five and a half. Full of uh, youth and vitality and ready to fire for the goal. Tommy Hafey saying, let's hope his boot's screwed on the right way as he fires from about 50 metres out. The kick, not a bad one, it's right through the middle. That's his second, and it's only two points the difference right at the 29-minute mark of this second quarter, and that's a very handy goal to go into that uh, dressing room. About a ball up here, I'd say. It comes back now, it's clear. Wayne Richardson's got it. A quick kick down towards their half ball. It's Rene Kink and Dench going for it. Kink gets a push out the wood. 37. 57 plays 37. The Magpie is looking pretty good. The 77 grand final lead by 20 points. They'll come back into deep into attack again now through Wayne Richardson. Approaching the 17 minute mark of the third quarter. The former Magpie skipper lining up. This distance may not be beyond him either. It's a long way out though. By God, it's a magnificent kick. It's a magnificent kick by Wayne Richardson. One it's just off line. Oh. Well, Hyde's got the ball. He can't pick it up either. Back it goes towards Dick trying to get out of the pack, but he's collared. And the free kick will go to Collingwood. North Melbourne looking a little tired at the moment. And the free kick to go to uh, Collingwood's Worthington at centre half back. By golly, poor old Cable can't do a thing right. The ball falls short. And a mark here to uh, Wayne Richardson at centre field. Wayne Richardson, 31 years of age, possibly playing his last game as the ball goes up towards. Co the ball back into play, taken by Weirmouth. Hamble and turn goes out to Gordon, who gave the handball and turn towards Wayne Richardson in the centre. Half forward line now for the Magpies, almost a full four towards Moore. Three minute mark of the final quarter, Montgomery in turn towards the centre wing. Collingwood's mark in front. Wayne Richardson to drive the Magpies into attack. Well, in fact, Doug got going off the ground. Could be a blessing in disguise for the Magpies because North had a run on. Maybe it stopped it. Wayne Richardson towards the half-forward line. Cal North Melbourne's half-forward line. Scores dead level at the moment. Knocked out to Wayne Richardson. He shoots the ball down towards centre-half. Down goes Shaw. Tanner still playing it ahead. He showed plenty of confidence as he gets clear. He's grabbed it behind the ball, I'd say. And a free kick goes there to uh, Collingwood and the free kick to go there to, uh, to Wayne Richardson at centre-field. Almost at the 17-minute mark now of the grand final. Magpies by one point. 
Wayne Richardson taking plenty of time. They have a long torpedo punt. Moore setting himself. Big tackle. And then given away by Geelong. Back to North. And he looks like he could be the winner for the 1977 Grand Final for North. Flag in the last four years. There's the bounce again. Thompson knocks it out to Richardson. He's grabbed a bit high. And will get a free kick. A free kick to Wayne Richardson. Little short of the half-back position. Up towards centre wing. Time running out for Collingwood. They trail by seven points. And the ball driven out there. Now to Collingwood are wearing the white pants in North Melbourne. The darkest shorts. Uh, towards the half-back line again for North Melbourne and Barham to drive the Magpies back into attack. North Melbourne a seven, Collingwood a one. Barham, about 55 metres out from goal, as you can see, almost on the boundary line. This will land oh, for a short pass to Wearmouth. Oh, nearly dropped it. Well, Wearmouth is within scoring distance, but again, the Magpies attacking pretty uh, dangerously. Short pass again, it's come off. And Wayne Richardson, the former Collingwood skipper, his first kick for the game and directly in front. Well, I was about to say that the Collingwood side were attacking uh, rather strangely right around the boundary line. Pretty hard to score goals from there. But eventually Wayne Richardson lining up almost directly in front. 30 metres out, should put it through. Lines up, bangs for goal. And the Magpies first is on the board. Score the level. Seven minutes of play in the first quarter. Seven points apiece. And when... There they go. Thompson got the knock out. A beautiful one over to Wayne Richardson. The Magpies swing into attack. As a... Oh, Ireland can't get clear. And they're battling hard as we see Wayne Richardson trying to get out. He gets a hand pass back to Gordon. But the umpires found a free kick. And Richardson will take this free kick about... Uh, at half forward, about 85 metres out from goal. Almost at the nine-minute mark of the first quarter. And what a fiery opening. Scores level again. Seven points apiece. Short pass. Beauty towards Gordon. Gordon gave the handball to Magro, but decides to go back and take a long kick. Wayne Gordon will put this right in the go. He's going for a short pass and said back towards half for the Len Thompson. will be paid. Mark all free kick. The big fellow, I don't be 13 points apiece. Scores level again. Thompson, Ruck, down towards Wayne Richardson, looking for the handball. Screws it back towards the half-forward line. Looking for Rene Kink, and Kink's got to go for the handball to Gordon. Plays on the hurry, back towards full forward. And now boots down towards Baker again. Setting himself in the middle. Big Packer plays over the back is Thompson. Big fellow really starring early in the game. And it goes towards Robert Hyde. High from the back pocket. Short pass towards the half-back line. a beauty taken by skipper Max Richardson. In turn, it goes back towards half-back to brother Wayne. Wayne in turn back towards the centre of the ground. And recovers well and drives the ball back towards that half-forward line. At the back is Thompson. The ball pushed past Byrne. Wayne Richardson with a hand pass to Thompson. Thompson with a bit of uh, stylish play by the big fella that time as he gets it back towards full forward of North Melbourne. Baker setting himself over the back is Worthington. Pumps it down to Max Richardson. Handball in turn goes out towards the back pocket. Chance again for Worthington. Streaming towards the half back line and turn towards the centre wing. Great second grab. Magnificent mark. Wayne Richardson. Magpies throwing everything into the second quarter and well they need to. Back towards the half forward line it goes. Twiggy Dunn hasn't done much to do from the goal. Thompson again. Baker there contesting. Taken by Wayne Richardson. Out towards the centre of the ground it goes. Bouncing free. Hudson. He's going to be very tired in that last quarter. Chance now for Wayne Richardson. Can the Magpies score another goal? Back towards the centre it goes. Shot. Third quarter of the 1977 Grand Final. Coming to you live through Channel 7. And still anybody's flag for 1977. The Magpies back towards Twiggy Dunn. Well, he's lost it. Oh, oh golly. There's a go now for uh, the ball to be picked up by Wayne Richardson. Driven down to one. Only three goals. The Magpies are right back in the fight for the flag. Nobody ever taken by Wayne Richardson. Down to four, four, it goes. Up we go. Up she goes now. Knocked out by Thompson. Still not giving in. As Collingwood are trying to get the ball further forward. But it's a hopeless task now. And a free kick will go to Wayne Richardson at centre field. Possibly playing his last game for Collingwood. Been a great player. Over 200 games. Ex-captain as he gets the ball out there to Betts, but uh, Betts is clear, drives the ball up towards the full forward zone.